When NVIDIA announced that its new Pascal consumer GPUs wouldn't be using HBM2 video memory, some folks were left feeling a little confused. However, that isn't to say that they didn't change anything about their VRAM, as these cards are using the also newly released GDDR5X. So what's special about it, other than the fact that it has an X in its name, which might be trying to remind people of words like exciting, extreme, or expensive? Well, that might depend on who you buy your components from, so instead, let's talk about what GDDR5X actually is. It's a type of video RAM, which does things like hold textures, store images in frame buffers, provide the GPU with lighting information, in short, it holds the data that your GPU actually has to process so that your computer will display your game properly. But the arisen question is, what's special about GDDR5X in particular, and is it going to make your games look any better or run faster? Well, usually VRAM tends to matter more the higher the resolution your games are running at, making it especially important for multi-monitor setups, or if you're trying to run things with aggressive anti-aliasing or high-res texture settings, as these things require more stuff to be held in memory. And with games becoming ever more detailed and higher resolution monitors becoming more common and cheaper, quicker memory is also becoming more important. Graphics memory has placed an emphasis on wide bandwidth for a long time, but GDDR5X improves upon the existing GDDR5 standard by allowing twice as much data to be accessed at one time, 64 bytes instead of 32. And while this may not sound like much, we should see overall transfer rates of around 10 gigabits per second or even higher per pin and nearly 450 gigabytes per second of overall bandwidth while drawing less power than its predecessor. Pretty sweet. But slow down just a minute, what about that fancy new HBM that AMD came out with? Why is GDDR5X a big deal then? While it's true that HBM, which you can learn more about here, has higher throughput and has a smaller footprint, which are both great things on your graphics card specifically, than GDDR5X, GDDR5X should be quite a bit easier, not to mention cheaper, to implement than HBM, since it's still quite similar to the ubiquitous GDDR5. And although both NVIDIA and AMD are heavily rumored to be moving towards HBM 2.0 for some of their upcoming architectures, GDDR5X might appear on more mid-range future graphics cards as well, as the greater accessibility of high-res displays and the growing interest in virtual reality headsets will make high-throughput VRAM increasingly important. Currently, GDDR5X is only available on NVIDIA's new flagship, the GeForce GTX 1080. But don't be surprised to see it paired with more GPUs down the road. And whether you're going for GDDR5X or HBM, pay attention to what kind of VRAM is in your next card if you want to get into surround gaming, hook up an Oculus Rift or HTC Vive, or just really, really like things with X's in them. The Mito DSA Sci-Fi keycap set is available over on Massdrop. It's a customizable keycap set that is set in the theme of the first person shooter game that you've never heard of, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. You'll have to pick whatever like kit and build you want to fit the layout and theme and schematic and whatnot of your keyboard. But that is very easy to do on their website and it supports tons of different layouts, even non-standard ones from various companies, so you should be covered. You're also fine even if you have like Nordic, German, UK, US layouts, all that kind of stuff. And additionally, Blizzard's Overwatch inspired novelties will be available as well. The base price is $39.99 but varies widely based on different options that are selected in the checkout as we just discussed and will be launching the morning of June 13th. So go to draw.ps slash techquickie-mito and you can check all that kind of stuff out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like it, dislike it, subscribe, all those common things that you're used to by now. If you have ideas for future Tech Quickie episodes, put them in the bottom. And if you like X's, go over to Channel Super Fun, because I don't know why an X has anything to do with that name, but just, you know, whatever. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.